a little bit of an update on my Trax Sport Tech 2.0 with the Ferrari 458 Italia body from Tamiya. Um, yeah, I'm kind of messy right now. <laughs> but, um, so I'm happy to say that I actually installed the headlight housing and also the taillight housing, which you can't see. And guess what my Ferrari does now? guys in its full glory now I got wheel working headlights and working taillights and um, I have a switch there's a switch on the roof of the car that I can actually alternate uh, its headlight modes I'll show it to you right now. This is one of the modes where it flashes. Police lights. Strobe lights. And obviously off. Now the car the whole car is not off. And also, I painted these dynamite rims. There you go. Those are the same dynamite rims that were chrome. Now they're painted black. The rears are still the stock Portec rims, but those are actually originally on the fronts, but I actually put them onto the rears. And those were actually black chrome. They were actually around, uh, let me see if I have it. Oh, there it is. These are the, actual, the original colors, which is actually a black chrome. Which now I actually changed it to a, I actually use acetone to brush off the, the black chrome. There was, there's a little bit of chrome there. I did not do a very careful job, but this entire rim, um, the spokes are actually um, just the plastic. So it looks, it looks, it looks like it has that kind of a matte color to it. I may paint that to make it look like this um, and speaking of these dynamite rims um, these the, the design of the rims kind of remind me of the uh, HRE P101 go Google what the rim looks like and you'll see what I mean but anyways I'm gonna turn on the car uh, the headlights on again for you guys to see its glory again but all in all I really love this. I wish I could actually do that same thing with my Ford Tech up there, my Ford GT. But I must say, I am really, I mean, like I said, uh, I did not do a very careful job. As you can see there, there's some black paint in there because I actually have to color the headlight assembly black. But hey, look at that. I really am impressed and all on the um, what the finished product looks like. I am extremely proud of myself that I accomplished this. And if you guys are wondering where the, where the button is or the switch that I can actually alternate the, the headlight modes, it's actually on top of the, dri the, the driver's seat area. Or, or actually, I put it on top of the, on, over, underneath the top of the roof, um, position where where the driver would usually sit at. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I'll be waiting for a rear wing for it. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy this one as much as I can. Talk to you guys again soon.